What's up guys, Harsh here. So in this video, I am going to make this very cool project. This is a BCD to 7 segment decoder. So it will take BCD input from these four buttons over here and outputs it to this 7 segment display. So this will be a really cool project. It is my college project. So it was really fun to build. And uh, as you can see, it is a bit messy down here, but uh, don't worry, I will explain everything. So without wasting any time, let's get started. Okay, so here are all the parts that we will need for this build. So let's go through each one of them and see what their functions are in this build. First up we have our board. In this board we will mount all our electronics and as you can see that it is a zero PCB. So all these holes are not connected to one another. We will need to connect that manually. So this is called a zero PCB if you want to buy it. So you can just type it in Amazon or Google or whatever and you can then purchase it via that. Then here is our seven segment display and it's a common cathode display so the ground pins are all the same for every led in this case and this also has a little dot over it as you can see so it has an extra pin for this particular dot display but we will not be using that so don't be bothered by it next up we have the switches so these switches will control the bcd input so when the switch is off it will act as a zero input and when the switch is on it will act as one input for the ic to read and then output the seven segment code to the display you can see i have soldered some pin headers over here on both ends so that they it is easier to mount on the board now i will be re reusing my ic in our project so that's why i'm using this ic base so this is a 16 pin ic base you can buy it from any electronic shop very easily and as you can see that it has a little notch on the left side so the notch on the IC should match this notch for a better understanding and alignment and speaking of the IC here is our main IC it's a CD4511 IC you can get this on Amazon and I think in some electronic store you can find them it's a pretty common IC you can check in with your local stores then we have a total of five LEDs one is for the power so it will let us know if the circuit is powered on or not and then we have the four LEDs which will represent the BCD input so if the LED is turned off it will act as a BCD input 0 and if it is turned on then it will act as a BCD input 1 now here is our 5 volt voltage regulator so I will be powering it by a 9 volt battery and first the power will go through this regulator so that it is converted into 5 volts for our operations and all our LEDs won't be able to handle 5 volts that's why we will be using these resistors so these are 330 ohm resistors and these will be connected to the cathode of the LEDs so where they don't burn up with 5 volts and speaking of resistor we will also need these 12 kilo ohm resistors to connect between the BCD input of the IC and the ground so that's it for the parts now let's start building so first i will mount my switches so i have already ca calculated where the switches should be placed so it has a better symmetry to it so as you can see that my first switch is placed like so and then i can hold it in place and then apply solder to both these joints and then solder it in place and as you can see it is pretty nice tinned sheet so soldering wouldn't be an issue over here same way i will first mount all the switches to see if the alignment is correct or not okay the switches are in and as you can see that they are sticking quite a bit outward from the board so i will just use my pliers and then just try to cut them off from the top So now as you can see it is completely flush not completely but somewhat flush with the board and it will be a lot easier to hold it just like this and press the buttons to get the output over here. Now let's mount the IC base. Okay so after a lot of thought I have finally settled on this design and as you can see I have totally trashed the symmetry on this one but uh, I think it looks nice so let me explain how the circuit will work roughly and then we can start soldering each one of them in place. 
so power the 9 volt power will go through this regulator from the first two pins so the first pin will access as the 9 plus 9 input the second pin will act as a ground and then the third pin will be the 5 volts output so the first 5 volt output will go through this LED and through the resistor and through the ground so that's that and I will be placing some switches to turn and on and off this circuit then the 5 volt will also go from here to the bottom line of these switches so each switch will be connected to 5 volts and then the 5 volts from these four terminals will be connect directly connected to the four inputs of the IC and those inputs will all be also be connected to these resistors so as you can see these are the 12 kilo ohm resistors and these side of the resistor the bottom side will be connected to the ground then we have our indication leds over here so this switch will be connected to this led we will turn on this switch so that it will flow through the a input of the ic and also this led so this wire will go to the a terminal of the ic and also to the led and then the led will ground via this resistor to the ground and this is same for all these and this and similarly this switch will be connected to the, this led and this switch to this led over here and then the leftmost led to the leftmost led over here then we have the seven outputs for our seven segment display so we have resistors over here to control the current and then from here we will connect the pins to the seven segment just by seeing their names so in the sheet you can see that they are named from a to g in small and those will be connected to the a to g pins of the seven segment display over here and then seven segment display will also be grounded via the common pins which are the middle pins on the both ends so now let's solder everything in place i will show you the back side before it gets too messy so as you can see that i have placed the resistor right next to the led and that gives me the benefit of using the resistor wire to connect it to the negative portion of the led so as you can see that i have done that for all the force so now the power comes through here goes through the led comes out from the negative pin and goes to the resistor and then this resistor can go to the ground the four pins that are over here that can go to the ground so let's do the same for the ic over here okay so now we know that the bottom part of the resistor will be connected to the ground so what i have done at the back over here is as you can see that i have taken the wire from the last resistor and then just bent it towards the other resistor so that i can solder all of them together so that i will have just a single ground wire going from here to the ground so that's a pretty nice feature and i should have probably done that over here but uh, it's too late now so now let's just move on to these resistor and connect them now i have also mounted the 7 second display the voltage regulator and i have also included a power led so that way i will know when the circuit is turned on or turned off as for these leds the resistor will go to the ground so i have connected all these segments together so at the back you can see all these segments are now connected together and they all go to the middle pin of the regulator which is the ground and as for the led i am directly taking power from the 5 volt supply and then it can go through the resistor and to the ground so and also at the bottom as you can see i have uh, connected all these pins together for the switches so that i can take only one single power input and put it on the positive side over here to supply power to them now the only thing left to do is connect these pins to the leds and to the ic so these pins are not yet connected to the leds so and not even the ic so this pin will be connected to the input a or a0 in some cases of the ic so you can check the data sheet you can easily figure out what pin is what and the way bcd is designed is, is from right to left so these switches will be connected in parallel to the led so this switch will be connected to this led this switch will be connected to this led this switch will be connected to this led and this switch will go to the last led so in the same way these are laid out they will be connected and uh, i will use some wires so it may get a bit messy over here that's why i'm just pre showing you on how it will look like after that and as you can see that there is a very nice space left over here so 
here I can easily mount my 9 volt battery and then place the switch on these solar pads over here for a easy turn on and turn off motion. Okay, so our project is almost done and I have also connected the battery to the switch so that if I turn it on just from here you can see that the power really is turned on. Just like so. And at the back you can see it is starting to get pretty messy. So as you can see all the blue wires from the switches goes to the LED and from the switches the green wires go to the IC. I have these switches going to the LED in the parallel combination. So if I were to turn the switch on and if I press this button, this LED will light up. Same with the other switches, just like so. And if you want to turn it off, you just press that once again and it will turn it off. So now the only thing left to do is make the IC connection with the 7 segment display. So that is going to be pretty tough because they are very tiny connections and we have to do a total of 7 plus the ground connection that will be easy but uh, the connection from here I see to the 7 cm display will be very tiny and it is going to get pretty messy than this so let's try to do it as best as I can okay so it is done and it turned out pretty good as I expected so as you can see I have also connected the ground wire to the ground main ground which is over here and now the only thing left to do is program our IC or I should say set up our IC. So as you can see that there are three pins left yet to be connected. So these are pins number three, four and five. So if you look closely at the diagram, the pin number three and four and five, the pin number three is lamp test and pin number four is blanking test. So these pins should be connected to a five volt plus supply. Because lamp test just test whether the and segment display is working or not so if lamp test is provided a low signal that is zero or connected to ground it will turn up every single led onto the seven segment display and if it is supplied a high voltage that is one then it will not do that same with the blanking test it's the brightness of the display so we will need to keep that high so we'll supply a high signal and then we don't need to store the BCD inputs that are provided by the buttons. We will just do all this in real time. So we will just not connect the pin number 5 to the plus 5 voltage and we will connect it directly to the ground. And obviously pin numbers 8 and 16 are for the power supply of the IC. So pin number 16 is for the power of the IC and pin number 8 is for the ground. So correspondingly we will connect that too. So as you can see I have finally mounted my power supply to the IC so this red wire goes to the IC the VCC input and from here I have used a scrap piece of LED wire and connected the pin number 3 and 4 together and then just bridged across it so that it can get the 5 volt supply and as for the pin number 5 I have also done the same thing so from here a pin goes to the ground of these resistors so as you can see at the back we know that I have placed some pull down resistors so that way ground can go from pin number 5 through here and to the ground from here. So now the project is done all we need to do is just mount our IC plug the battery in and see the performance. Okay to turn it on we will just simply flip this switch over here and the power LED will indicate that the circuit is powered on and all the inputs are currently at set at zero so we will see zero where because in bcd zero 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 is zero so let's start with the first value that is zero 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 one so to make this led one we'll just turn on this switch and as you can see now we are getting the code zero 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 one that's the bcd code and the value of the bc code will be one so as you can see we are seeing that right over here then we can just turn it off to get to the zero point again and flip the next switch. So as you can see now we are getting two for the BCT input 0010. 
and to get to the next number we will just uh, follow this bcg step so for getting number 3 we will use 0011 so to make this one we will just turn the switch on and now you can get the 3 number to get the 4 number we will just turn both of these off once again and use this switch to get the 4 value so 0100 in bcd is equivalent to 4 next up is the number 5 with the bcd value of 0101 so to make this one we will just turn this switch on so as you can see now we are getting 0101 and we are getting output as 5 then to get the number 6 we will just use the 0110 input and we can get the value 6 and uh, as you can see that we are getting a bit of a partially filled 6 you can see that there is no lighting on the top segment and that is a common thing with this IC and this is a older version of IC I think so these type of IC only display 6 like this and there is also a partial display with the 9 so we will see that now let's move on to the next number which is 7 so the 7 is 0 1 1 1 so we'll just press this so it is now 0 1 1 1 and we can get the output 7 to get the output 8 we'll just turn all of these off again and then just simply turn on this switch so as you can see now we're getting 1 0 0 0 so that equals to 8 now the final number the 9 we can do that by getting the input of 1001 so we'll just turn this on again and as you can see we get the partially filled 9 without the bottom segment being lit and to get to 0 we'll just turn all of these off to get to the 0 so that's it guys thanks for watching the video hopefully this video was well explained for you and i will provide the circuit diagram in the description of the tinkercad so you can zoom in and check each of the components separately and uh, this wiring is not as hard as i thought it would be so you will be able to easily do it just make sure you have a high power soldering iron and steady hands so that was it for this video thanks for watching please like subscribe and share and i will see you all later